me, Doris, and Miss Deb for story time. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. What's, what's our story about today, Miss Deb? Well, our story today is about AAPI Month. AAPI Month. What is that? Well, Asian American and Pacific Islander Month. I think this is such an amazing world and we celebrate everybody's heritage. It would be such a uninteresting world if we all looked the same, had the same experiences. You're right, Miss Deb. I like that everybody is unique and special. Me too. So the two books I'm going to read today are No Kimchi for Me and Eyes That Kiss in the Corner. Hmm. Let's see what this one is about. Ooh, look here. Look how different everybody looks. I love that. Some people with red hair, some people with brown hair, some people with yellow hair. Some people have eyes that sparkle like sapphire lagoons with lashes like lace trim on ball gowns, sweeping their cheeks as they twirl. Big eyes, long lashes. Not me. I have eyes that kiss in the corners and glow like warm tea. My eyes are just like mama's. Hmm. Mama's eyes that kiss in the corners and glow like warm tea, crinkle into crescent moons when she comes home from work. She scoops me in her arms, eyes sparkling like starlight, and tickles me until we laugh ourselves onto the floor. Uh, how many of you have eyes that look like your mama's, or your grandma's, or even dad? When mama tucks me in at night, her eyes tell me I'm a miracle. In those moments when she's all mine, flecks of dancing gold tell me I'm hers too. My mama is my sun and sky, and her eyes are just like Amma's. See here? Oh, Amma looks like that might be her grandmother. Do you have a special name for your grandmother? My grandchildren call me Gigi. Amma's eyes that kiss in the corners and glow like warm tea don't work like they used to, but she sees all the way into my heart and can even read my mind. Her eyes are filled with so many stories. I can fall inside them and swim until time stops. I see Guan Yin with the Monkey King sitting on a lotus, serene, bobbles of lychee on trees, and mountains that reach for the sea. I love that. My Alma never ages, and her eyes are just like Mei Mei's. Mei Mei's eyes that kiss in the corners and glow like warm tea blink against the window until I come home from school. How many of you have a little brother or a little sister and they look up to you? Or maybe you are the little brother or little sister. I was a little sister. They disappear beneath her two-toothed smile when I walk in the door. She toddles after me, gazing up at me like I am her best present. I hope she looks at me like that forever, because when she looks at me in that May May way, I feel like I can fly. May May's eyes that kiss in the corners and glow like warm tea are just like mine. My eyes crinkle into crescent moons and sparkle like the stars. Gold flecks dance and twirl, while stories whirl in their oolong pools, carrying tales of the past and hope for the future. Look at that. My eyes find mountains that rise ahead 
and look up when others shut down. My lashes curve like the swords of warriors, and through them I see kingdoms in the clouds. My eyes that kiss in the corners and glow like warm tea are a revolution. They are Mama and Ama and Meme. They are me and they are beautiful. Just like all of you are beautiful and special. Now my second book is called No Kimchi For Me. How many of you know what kimchi is? How many of you have ever eaten kimchi? Okay, well, let's see what it's about. Oh, this gives us an idea. Green onion, Korean radish, young radish, cucumbers, Ooh, mustard green, garlic chives, Ooh, lots of things. It's time for lunch. I wonder what they're having. Yumi loves grandma's dried seaweed, tiny anchovies, soft egg omelets, even her seasoned bean sprouts. Is there something special that your mom or grandma or another adult in your family makes that's special? Well, let's find out more here. But Yumi does not like stinky, spicy, kimchi. You can't eat it because you're a baby, says June. Only big kids eat kimchi, says you. Hmm. I'll show them. She tries it. Oh no. Yuck! Baby, baby, the brothers tease. If you have older brothers and sisters, do they tease you sometimes? I know my brothers and sister did not like when I played games with them. They said I would mess up their games. After lunch, June and Yoon don't let Yumi play. This game is not for babies. No fair, Yumi says. Not for babies. I'm not a baby, says Yumi, and I can prove it. Uh-oh. Yumi has an idea. Well, I'm not sure what's gonna happen here. I wonder what her idea is. First, she tries to hide some kimchi on a chocolate chip cookie. That doesn't work. Oh, what's she gonna put the kimchi on next, you see? Then she tries to hide some on a slice of pizza. That doesn't work either. Ice cream doesn't work either. Oh, I hate kimchi, shouts Yumi. Did you ever eat something that you just hated? I'll tell you, for me, I don't hate it, but sauerkraut is sometimes not something I really enjoy. And we had that a lot when I was growing up and we make it in our household too, because it's a family. We we have sauerkraut, especially on New Year's Day. Grandma has a plan. Hmm. They chop, pour, break, add, stir. Oh, I wonder what they're making. And cook. Yoon smells something delicious. What's that? asks Yoon. June smells it too. What's that? asked June. It's a kimchi pancake for our big girl, Grandma says. Yumi puts the fork to her mouth. I can do this, she says. Still spicy, she says. Gulp, but yummy. And here in this book, is a recipe for a kimchi pancake. Hmm, I wonder if a sauerkraut pancake would taste good. I might have to try that.
I hope you like the stories today. Did Miss Deb do a good job? I can't hear you. All right, well, we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us for story time. Woo! Happy AAPI Month.